to teach you how to make a four leaf clover and a three leaf clover. So I have medium weight four yarn and I'm using a size, I think this is size six crochet hook. I can't tell because my husband is homemade homemade me an ergonomic hook and um, it's covering that up and I know it looks atrocious but you know it does the job so we're gonna start off with our slip knot we put the yarn into a circle the one on top is the side connected to the ball of yarn then we go underneath and we're going to pull it through and then you can just loosen it now we are going to chain four one, two, three, four. We're going to join into a circle using a slip stitch. Then we are going to chain five and you're going to decide now whether you want to do a four leaf or a three leaf clover. So if you want to do a a three leaf clover you're only going to do this sequence three times if you want to do a four leaf you're going to do it four times so i'll show you a four leaf so you chain five one two three four five then we're going to go back into the center and do a slip stitch and that connects that into a little circle that's our first little uh leaf now we're going to do it again, one, two, three, four, five, connect it with the slip stitch, one, two, three, four, five, connect it with the slip stitch. And our last one, one, two, three, four, five, connect it, and there we have our leaves. Now we're going to make our stem, so we're going to chain ten, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to count back, not counting the, the chain on the hook. We're going to count back four stitches. One, two, three, four and we're going to do a half double crochet in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, out, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to do that one more time into the next stitch. Yarn over, in, yarn over, out, yarn over, pull through all of them. And then we are just going to do a single crochet into the remaining. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and then we are going to single crochet right into the first leaf spot. So right into that hole where we made our first leaf, single crochet in there. Now, we're going to do one half double crochet, so wrap around, in, around, out, around, through all three. We're going to do two double crochets, go around, in, around, out, around, through two, around, through two, do that again, around, in, around, out, around, through two, around, through two. Now we're going to do two half double crochets again, and make sure as you create this we're pulling those leaf parts over because we want it to fit in this 
in this section. So do two half double crochets again. Here's one. There's two. Two double crochets. There's one. There's two. And then we're going to do one half double crochet. One single crochet. And then we're going to do another single crochet, but into the second leaf spot. And then we're just going to start that sequence again. So, one half double crochet. Two double crochet. Two half double crochet. Slide it over. Two double crochet. One half. One single and then a single crochet into the next spot which is our third leaf and repeat the sequence so one half double crochet two double crochet Two half double crochet, two double crochet, one half. single and if you're only doing three leaves that's where you'll stop but we're doing four so we're going to do a single crochet into the next spot one half two double Two double, one half, and a single crochet. And that is where we will leave it. You want to pull the tail out and create a pretty long tail before you cut it off because we're going to sew the leaf to the stem and then um, I'll show you how I weave it in. And definitely we'll need to block this, um, which if you don't know what that is, I didn't for a while. You just run it under some water and then lay it flat to dry. You can either pin it to the carpet, which is what I do, or just lay a book on it or something let it dry so that it's flat and you know but not all bunchy but there's our four leaf clover let me find my scissors all right so this tail that was connected in the center you can pull it tight and you can weave it in or honestly since I kind of bring it around as I'm creating my circle and weave it in as I'm crocheting. I don't always weave it in, but we will do that today, so.
right now this one as you can see the leaf and the stem are not connected so what I like to do is use my yarn needle and I just do a couple whip stitches to connect it take my yarn and weave it down the stem and I feel like it kind of straightens it out. Could just be me thinking things but this is what I like to do so I bring it all the way down and then I'm just going to tie it off in the back here. And there you go. Sorry, I'm all over the place with filming. I'm just trying to figure out how to stay in the center. I tend to crochet with my entire body, it seems, but there we go. There is our four leaf clover. And I hope that was helpful. Leave any comments below if you have questions about how to make that. But now I'm gonna go block it. And if you're following my tutorial on, or just my video on making the garland, we gotta make a bunch more of these. So write down the pattern or rewind the video and let's get making some. Mm -hmm.